I, I think this proves that downtown Cleveland looks much like the rest of Northeast Ohio at this point. <laughs> Everybody's trying to duck in and duck out of buildings and get through those raindrops. We still have a few raindrops to go, but it's the drop in temperatures that's going to get your attention here in the next 12 hours or so. Look at this temperature drop. We're going to hold here about 60 degrees or so, and then late tonight, that mercury begins to slide. And once it starts, it doesn't really stop. Tomorrow through the day, I think we're going to hold in the 20s around Northeast Ohio. So a stark change is coming. You still have time to poke your nose out the door and take a few more deep breaths of 60 degree temperatures uh, because they will not be lasting long. It is even 61 right now in tropical Dover, 59 in Elyria, same for the Cuyahoga County Airport. We are certainly on the warm side of things, but the cold air isn't far away. Where we have a clash of air masses, we will often have rain. As a matter of fact, this morning we even had thunderstorms that came through. Uh, we do have a few little showers that are still moving in. We have areas where we still have a lot of standing water. Rivers are still running high at this point. So uh, it's good that we get a break from that rain. A few showers out in Indiana still to get through tonight, but the cold air is banked here into the northern part of the Great Lakes. And this is actually going to set the stage for a winter storm to scoop on in here as we get into our Thursday. But in the meantime, you can see this little kink right there. You see how that kink starts to swing around? That is the area of low pressure. So you can see how well defined it is. That cold air will begin to sweep in behind the front as it moves through here. That will be taking place just after midnight. Matter of fact, here's your National Design Mark hour by hour forecast. The front will be sitting on the state line at about 1 a.m. The temperature drop is pretty impressive. We're going to go from those upper 50s back into the 30s by about 1 a.m. Remember that last cold front we had when it hit you in the face? It's going to do the same thing, but you're going to be asleep, so don't worry about it. Uh, at least most of you will be. Uh, mostly cloudy skies tomorrow morning. A few random snow showers are even going to greet you as you step out the door. Isn't that great? And please do know that all all this wet water, you know, the wet surfaces, all the water that's standing around. As the temperatures drop, we could have slick spots tomorrow morning, especially steps, decks, porches, driveways and sidewalks, parking lots, the same story. So uh, make sure it's treated if you have any uh, kind of insurance woes or anything like that to think about. By 6 p.m. then I think we may even get some peaks of sun in here. The damage will have already been done and the temperatures are in the 20s. So let's pick it up Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. Cold air is in place. Here comes comes a big surge of moisture. Yesterday it looked like we were going to get whacked with snow early Thursday. Now it looks like that chance stays south. Don't breathe a sigh of relief just yet because there's a whole nother round coming later in the day. That one looks much more potent and dependent upon how this tracks. And we are right on the line yet again for where we're either going to have snow or the ice mix or just rain. As of right now, some models bring this farther north and paint all of Northeast Ohio with ice. Some models take it farther south, give us a decent amount of snow. This is still very much TBD, but on the back side of it by Friday, we are feeling the chill. So so for Thursday, we're watching snow to ice mix to snow late Thursday into Friday. Snow Thursday evening, ice mix overnight, back to snow on Friday. Snow accumulations will be heaviest north of the ice mix axis. So we're watching that line, and the ice mix is going to result in another coating across the area. Please keep a close eye on that one. We certainly are. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. Temps are going to drop on Wednesday. We're low 30s on Thursday. That ice mix changes to snow early Friday and we stay chilly as we head through the weekend and start off next week. Jimmy has an update on sports coming at you next.